Sagittarius, uh, this is Soul and uh, Sagittarius, this is going to be your general love and relationship forecast for the month of August 2016. Okay, so let's get right into your messages. Um, just to let you know, I am using a new deck. And if anyone is watching this video and they are offended by the cards uh, with their explicitness, um, by all means, you can click off. But anyway, for some Sagittarians uh, that I'm reading for this uh, particular uh, month coming up regarding love and relationships, actually, it seems like it's going to be a pretty interesting um, month. Let's see how it pans out, though. Um, but we're going to start off with the magician, Major Arcana, Major Life Event. OK, so now because this is a general reading and I'm not focusing on any other areas or aspects of your life uh, Sagittarius it's just on love and relationships so the magician comes in to say uh, this is for singles and coupled Sagittarians that you have everything everything all the elements uh, necessary to manifest uh, at least for the singles to bring a relationship your way and then also for the couples to uh, have the opportunity to you know possibly turn things around in a relationship that may not be resonating with you at this time now that doesn't necessarily mean that you know you still wouldn't deal with difficulties or you know possible splits and breakups and stuff like that it's just that you have the power um you know and the potential of turning things around uh in your favor that's the positive side of the magician. So if you've seen my videos before and you've uh, heard me talk about the magician, now I'm get to the negative side. OK, there is some Sagittarians that I'm reading for dealing with a very selfless, selfish, reckless individual. Either they're dating or in a relationship currently. This person is coming across as someone who doesn't really give a shit about their behaviors and how it affects you the magician when it comes up for a general love reading and a regular reading it's always the same energy okay and then i also oftentimes pick up uh you know disorders with this magician and the disorders that you know always come to mind is that some may be dealing with uh energies of persons with bipolar uh, bipolar illnesses and either you know full-blown NPD which is uh, narcissistic personality disorder or they have some sort of narcissistic traits now when I speak of narcissism we all possess that but it's the narcissism that is unhealthy that is the most damaging uh, energy to deal with so it's okay to you know have a little bit of narcissism and we all have that but it's healthy um, but the individual that I'm picking up that uh, some of you may be dealing with is unhealthy okay it is in the upright position so that means that there's something going on okay uh, this energy is for the entire month so just know that on the positive side Sagittarius you have everything to manifest bring forth that relationship that you so true desire and for the, that's for the singles and then for the couples um, you have an opportunity in your favor um, to turn things around but it doesn't necessarily mean that you know things will turn around it all depends on how uh, the situations are approached Okay, and also too, the magician is related to um, for someone out there that I'm reading for. Just be careful of you know the trickster, and just think in terms of you know someone doing some sort of um, not realistic magic on you, but just doing something. I could almost say wearing a false mask, okay? Because they're not, they may present themselves as, um, they may present themselves to you in one fashion, but they're not who they say they are, okay? That's the trickster that I'm talking about. What's crossing the um, magician 
Yeah, it's definitely a relationship. <laughs> and I like this card. Okay. <clears throat> um, is the Queen of Cups. So this is definitely, and this is for male energies too. So this is uh, the Queen of Cups in the upright position. So this is love and emotions. So it's crossing the magician. So this is where I'm getting uh, either Sagittarius or a few Sagittarians that I'm reading for is dealing with a reckless, selfish, you know, self-centered uh, person that has some sort of uh, bipolar uh, tendencies or narcissistic tendencies. Uh, and it may be if that person's behavior um, is around you, then it's creating some sort of emotional uh, stuff for you. OK, that's just for the negative. The Queen of Cups crosses this magician to say, and I always see the magician as an actual person, too. So the Queen of Cups comes in. So that's two people. So, again, uh, the court card represents an actual person for me. So that's the potential of energy for Sagittarians who are single. Um, someone possibly coming in new for you. That could be a water sign. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Could be any zodiac sign. Um, but I just feel that there is uh, a, a potential for... Uh, with the magician, the queen crossing the magician and having everything that you need to possibly turn a situation around in your favor. This is what's being presented here for those uh, Sagittarians that are dating uh, currently or in uh, established relationships. OK. So that's good. This is good energy so far, just outside of the negative uh messages that i mentioned about the magician and then too that air that energy of the magician when it comes to uh, you know being mindful and careful of the trickster that will carry out the entire month okay somebody is wearing a false mask and they are not who they claim to be or present themselves to you um you know their true selves all right so I'm not going to go into the six months to a year. I'm just going. This is everything in your um, reading for this month. So I'm just going to try to systematically go through uh, the cards individually. But I may jump around uh, depending on where I'm being directed and, and what energy is being picked up. But now we have the three of wands uh, in the upright. So the three of wands. Um, I'm just getting that there's. This could be a month, too, for some Sagittarians to get themselves involved in love triangles. OK, I'm just going to put it out there. Uh, I am reading for Sagittarius or two right now that is already currently involved in a love triangle. And it may be with a fire sign. Uh, again, it could be with any zodiac sign. And it also could be a water sign. Energy. Um, but the three of wands is a physical card. So it's all about uh, movement. So. If you can look at the card, card minus the glare, uh, we have a female who's like giving dude a blowjob. So the three of wands is walking away. So either Sagittarius gets blown off or someone blows Sagittarius off related to a love triangle this particular month. Now, in terms of jumping around because I'm being directed to uh, what sits underneath that three of wands is the two of swords so this is two people so there's a reduction so this is where i'm getting that either sagittarius blows someone off and i'm not talking about sexually uh but it could be but um what i'm referring to is walking away so blowing off someone or someone blows off sagittarius with the two of swords and i will get back to this two of swords because it's in the upright and the twos represents two people um, but let me just continue to go through, uh, with the next card that's up, we have, okay, we have the, see, this is what I'm saying. There's a potential for you guys to get involved with love triangulations. Well, love triangles this month with two, three showing up and they're sitting right next to each other. Um, that is the potential of energy that I'm picking up. This is the Empress. This is also a card of expansion. Uh, so it could be that in terms of a love triangle and just to make sure that I'm not 
speaking with a forked tongue because the two of swords shows up here that there could be some sort of um continuance uh with a love triangle this month okay that's that expansion this card shows up too this is uh the empress i'm sorry if i didn't mention it before it's a major arcana major life event and it's also a number three so in the upright position is usually uh positive energy this card comes in that some sagittarians may receive females at least receive news of a pregnancy uh this month or they this could be a month of getting pregnant or someone's delivering a baby this month okay that's the empress card this is about uh growth and expansion pregnancy and love triangles and also too uh it could relate to uh when it comes to creative or being creative that creative uh stuff that i'm picking up in terms of energy may be related to the bedroom okay so um i'll just go with that now what's up next is the going out into your future sagittarius now we have the wheel of fortune which is a good card which is another major arcana that's why i said some of this energy that i'm picking up uh for you this upcoming month uh you have to let me know because it's, it's it's somewhat positive it's really positive then it is negative but you have the wheel of fortune uh major arcana major life event and it's in the upright and this is going out into your future so there's a lucky cycle or a lucky period for some of you um the lucky cycle relates to those singles possibly connecting with someone new this month that um is representative of the queen of cups showing up in the upright as an actual person but it also could um because the wheel constantly turns it also could lead to misfortune so the misfortune could be directed towards the energy of the three of wands where you know either you know like i said before either sagittarius blows someone off or someone blows sagittarius off and that's walking away from a relationship that's uh involving a love triangle so just keep that in mind it's a very the Wheel of Fortune is a very uh, positive card, uh, but in a love reading, it's, it's the wheel is constantly turning. So it all depends on where you land on that wheel. So it could be something very fortunate for you uh, happening this month, or it could be some sort of misfortune. OK, now, after the Wheel of Fortune, we have. OK, now this is the hang in this particular deck, they call it the hang woman. Okay, and the hang woman is like, if you can really see in the card, she's really getting serviced here. So she's getting busy. So there could be some sort of um, suspension. Now, the hang woman is sitting underneath the magician. So there could be some sort of suspension going on uh, related to uh, the magician on the negative uh, side or at least the negative messages that I was uh, giving you. See, because that whole magician thing where I said that, you know, be mindful and sort of like vigilant about a person that's in your life that may present themselves as one character, but they're actually not. That's, that's the false mask, okay, that I'm referring to. And it may be that, some Sagittarians that I'm reading for, this is creating uh, an air of suspension, something going on. This is in the upright position, so it's like you could be uh, having to be sitting on a fence about a relationship. And then also, too, if it's directed towards the energy of the magician, then it's just your perception might be altered because it's not whatever it is, it's not being presented to you in a real fashion so your uh perception may be a little bit altered but that's only based on their behavior because i am picking up a magician here around a sagittarius or two that i'm uh dealing with so either you know you're coming to the point of there's something about this person that you just can't quite put your finger on and this is the suspension that i'm uh referring to then it's like whatever happens and like i said with the magician on the positive side sagittarius you have everything to possibly turn uh things around in your favor now if turning things around in your favor relate to the magician who you're 
currently dating or in a relationship with and you know you figure out or you come to some sort of terms that you know this person is not resonating with you then you still have those elements to make a decision to um you know bump their ass to the curb okay more or less now Sagittarius you have the nine of cups which is a great card to have because it's in the upright nine of cups is the wish card so it's the uh yes card to any questions that you may have related to love and relationships i just see some of you being emotionally uh fulfilled this month now that could be you know in the bedroom with the um you know the empress showing up in terms of being creative um but now we're talking about later okay since we're going out into the future this is a progression through the month that some of you achieve some sort of emotional happiness and fulfillment and that's directed and related to a relationship so it could be uh that emphasis of meeting that new person with the queen it sits underneath the queen of cups so it's about love and relationships for you this month and possibly meeting someone new and then the ones who are already established it's like a, a deeper emotional bonding taking place um so that's always good to hear this is also the wish card you know like the star card you know whatever you wish for um you know it will be granted to you nine of cups being emotionally fulfilled happy and is directed at possibly a new love or an existing relationship uh, going into a deeper emotional bond or some sort of bonding uh, even more so now I'm back to the two of swords the two of swords represents uh, you know sitting at crossroads so it could be that some of you I'm reading for have to make a decision uh, the swords are definitely related to decision making uh, but when it's the two it's uh, some sort of ambivalence uh, going on with you um, about a relationship it's creating some sort of you know minor anxiety for you and I see it as like a you know crossroads or something and, and even more so with the hang woman showing up air suspension it may be the two are showing up here saying that, you know, there's something that is not feeling right for you uh, related to another person. And you're sort of like uh, ambivalent about making the decision of being at a crossroad. OK, um, just creating a little bit of uh, mild anxiety for you, but I don't think it's um, something so severe that you you're not going to be able to handle the swords represents air sign so some of this energy may be related to having to deal with air sign uh energies gemini libra aquarius male or female um if it's not that then it could be uh having to make a decision about the magician that i spoke of earlier okay so now we have the so you have a lot of cups here uh, in this reading uh, so and of course I'm doing love in uh, relationships so this is appropriate now you have the knight of cups so this is the, like the knight in shining armor you know towards the end of the month and you know the emotional fulfillment and happiness continues it's like you're you know feeling good about yourself emotionally uh, this is within a connection with another person because there's a a female on the back of the uh, horse with the knight and it could be that the you know the knight as i always see it the knight in shining armor uh since this is the cups someone coming to sagittarians aid in terms of love and um relationships this month and the knight um also is related to Yeah, someone coming in. Someone coming in for you. But I'm just tr I'm curious because this card is depicting a cup that has a snake wrapped around it. So I'm trying to figure out what the hell is the snake wrapped around this uh, cup. Snakes usually represent poison. 
envy or jealousy. So maybe it's a message for me to um, put out there to you to be mindful and cautious of not allowing yourself to become jealous or envious of I'm going to just put it this way uh, of someone else who's already in a relationship and it's what you want. OK, we'll just leave it at that. I'm not going to dig too deep into that with the, the snake showing up, uh, but I just happened to uh, notice that. But anyway, the tail end of your reading, Sagittarians, uh, we have oh another major arcana. Now it's the judgment. So I always read the judgment when it comes to uh, love and relationships. It's some sort of awareness. Either you're going to uh, discover something that you didn't know, which is the magician, or you already know, but it's a fuller awareness by the end of the month. And it's like if you see the activity of this card, you know, you have several people in here and, and foreplay, lovemaking or whatever you want to call it. And it's like I want to call it like the guardian angel who just strips the cover off of them and like they were just caught. So there's this awareness. So the cover is snatched off, meaning that there's something that Sagittarians are going to discover by the end of the month about someone um, they either didn't fully know or some sort of truth comes to the forefront, okay? This is an awareness card, and it's a, a card of judgment. And it could be some sort of judgment levied against you uh, from another person, or it could be Sagittarians uh, judging others, okay? So be mindful of that energy not to, you know, be judgmental. Uh, but if the judging relates to the magician, then, you know, that's perfectly normal and fine, okay? But I just feel that at the end of the month, um, Whatever is in suspension for you, then there may be a, a, a revelation here at the end of the month with the judgment. Something is brought to your attention. What you didn't know before, you will discover uh, by the end of the month. Okay, Sagittarius, that is your reading for this month. Like I said before, it's more positive than it is negative. Um, so some of you who are single and looking to connect with... Um, Someone new, you have the Nine of Cups, you have the Queen of Cups, and the Empress uh, to support. Even though it's not the Lovers or the Two of Cups, but you also have the Knight of Cups. So you have plenty of love and emotions. Or, well, I should say love and romance going on. That's the potential. Um, this month. And I also feel that, you know, it's, it's for some of you, it's going to be heated up. Because uh, I see a lot of, if you look at these cards, and there's a lot of stuff going on. I really like this. <laughs> I really like this Queen of Cups card. Um, so, a lot of physical stuff going on in terms of uh, sexual activity because of the Three of Wands uh, showing up. Now, whether that's in a love triangle or not, it's still a physical card of energy. And it's a card of movement. So I just feel that because it sits next to the queen, that's where I'm picking up all the uh, sexual energy. And being that it's the wands, it represents your energy, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, male or female. Um, it could be that a lot of this activity relates to the depiction of the card this month or for you for this month. OK. Um, so whatever happens. But. Overall, I think it's a very positive month for Sagittarians uh, in, the, in the Department of Love and Romance. OK, now the lover's oracle card that I have selected for you is um, OK. It says give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Well, there you go. This is the potential of energy that I have spoke about with the queen, the knight of cups and the empress showing up. Um, Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. So that's a good mantra to have. And if the above reading or messages don't resonate with you, the uh, Oracle cards are selected because there may be something that does resonate with you and that you can carry with you and vice versa. OK, so Sagittarius, once again, I want to thank you for visiting my channel. Uh, I do want to wish you all a very safe upcoming month ahead, of course, full of love and safety and till the next time Sagittarius I wish you all love and light take care bye